This is Panorama News from Guyana. ExxonMobil was forced to abandon its 3D seismic operations on the Stavrok block following an incursion by the Venezuelan military. Exxon said their main concern was the safety of crew members and others in the area. The U.S. government, State Department, called on Venezuela to respect Guyana's sovereignty and international law and said they were monitoring developments. Lennox Schumann, who had promised to launch a new party to represent the Amerindians of Guyana, says he is bringing forward a launch date by a month following the successful no-confidence motion brought by the PPP, which toppled the PNC government. Charandas Prasad is being hailed as a hero by a majority of Guyanese. His one vote brought down the Granger-Nagamutu coalition government. President Granger declared that his government will abide by the Constitution and election will be held accordingly. But I made it clear to the international community that after March 19th, that we in the parliamentary opposition, we will treat the government, if elections are not held by that day, as illegitimate, unconstitutional, and that no act that they engage in internationally or locally would be recognized. And this will have major implications for Guyana, for investors, and for all concerned. I have also urged the diplomatic community to be involved in the process of free and fair elections.